All right, good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. It's pretty much everything outdoor adventuring. If this looks familiar, I've done a couple videos here already. This is gonna be the third installment of the tarp canopy for camping setup. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, it has thousands of setup. views. Look at the rain over coming 10, down. I think it's like over 13,000 <laughs> views already. And I still get comments from all over the place. Recently, I had somebody ask me from uh, Australia. They absolutely loved it. I sent them the information and they've got their own tarp set up that is affordable. This is my workspace. That's where I do a lot of the cooking um, and I have my gear in the back and the little hatch window, that's not enough space to keep you covered. Recently, I've seen um, some social media news feeds and it's advertisements on suction cup mounts that are clips that suction cup to the window or to the roof or to whatever to set up your tarp. I thought, okay, well, this is actually a pretty good idea. I'm gonna try this for the first time. I haven't even tried this yet. I know how suction cups work, stick it to it, there you go. But is it gonna work to set up a tarp canopy? So that's what we're doing, stick around. I'm doing this for the first time. I hope it works out and if it does, it might work out for a lot of you that wanna set up a tarp. All right, before I get into this video, I just wanna say, currently there's an active forest fire. Um, it's a little bit west of Kalabogi, which is an area that I go to quite often. I've done several videos there, uh, camping, fishing, and it's just, it, you can see how hazy it is in the background right now. This is the smoke coming from that fire. And that's about 120 kilometers roughly west of Ottawa, Ontario. And um, being a retired fire officer, I truly understand the devastation that house fires or forest fires can cause. And so I just wish you are all doing well. I just wanted to say that everyone out dealing with that forest fire, I hope you're okay. You're gonna need four things. I've got the tarp. A little bit of string. Here's those quick clips that I was talking about. I'll show you a little bit more detail on these. And then these are what I just picked up. So it's just a regular suction cup mount, but it has this little piece of webbing and then a clip right here. And that clip is what is gonna clip onto the tarp. I've showed you these before in my videos. This is called a figure nine and it's made by Night Eyes. And I bought these as a two pack with the string. So this string came with this in a two pack. So it was already a setup. All right, there we go. GoPro's on, let's go. I've already gone and tied this one off in here. Um, I've said this before, if you can't tie knots, tie lots, but keep it simple. Just loop it around, tie it, loop it around, tie it again. It's not going to go anywhere. I purposely am using two different types of string um, that are a little bit different diameter because I want to see how well it works with those clips. Well, let's just see what happens if, see if these stick. You see that? Literally flip the tab down and that That's actually feels that's on there pretty good Look at how hazy it is well little patches of blue sky over there, but Not quite enough So there there's the size of the tarp Yeah, I'm gonna say probably Six by eight or six by 10. Okay, it's looking promising. But I want this over here a little bit more. So let's try this. What if we put it against here?
That might be a little bit better. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at how easy that is working, guys. Take a look at the top. Look, that's the center of the tarp. It's right in the middle of the roof. And we're not using the roof rack at all. All right, let's keep this rolling here. We're gonna open up the back hatch. And pop up the window. Okay. You can see already how that's holding. I'm actually surprised how well that's doing. We're gonna go get the strings hooked up to the quick clips. See what happens. Where did those go? All right, quick clips, where are you? There we go, we've got two. Now, all we're gonna do, this one the grommet pulled out, so I'm not gonna put a ton of tension on here because I don't wanna rip that off. One in there. One in here, you can see how simple that is. Got our string, it's literally this simple. Loop it around the bottom hook, give it a bit of tension, Hold on to it right here, loop it around into the teeth, and let it go. That's it. That's all there is to it. And look at this. We're already set up. <laughs> look. Look at this, guys. Come on. This is too easy. Now, I'm curious how much force I can put on here because of those suction cup mounts. So I'm going to start to really pull on this loop it that holds what what look that's the same it's the exact same as how it was set up before let's see what happens when we move the suction cup mount up to maybe here that's going to allow it to move a little bit more. Pop that, pull the little tab, move this a little bit further this way, put it on. There we go. Now that's going to give us a little more tarp when we come out this way. And we just go over here and adjust. I don't want to go too tight because I don't want to rip that hole. I got to put a new new grommet on there. There we go. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and you can go even further. You can see I've got I've got quite a bit of root. Oh. Was that the suction cup that came off? I think it was. Let's check that out. Yeah. That's why we're doing it, guys. We want to see how well this is going to work with these. So that's that's being suction cup to the body. I'm curious if let's get a bit of water. Let's just sort of clean this off and see if Now, would I trust this in a hurricane? No. You've not even on my roof rack. But let's leave that for now. Video, it's actually working. One of them did come off. I don't know if it's because it was wet. Um, it slipped. We're gonna leave that on for a couple minutes to see what happens. But there is quite a bit of tension on here right now, and it's still holding. And look at how much workspace I have. So there's the suction cup mount on the body. Now, unfortunately, I can't stick it to any of the black part here because it's textured. 
so the suction cups don't stick to it. But I think if on a regular vehicle that doesn't have this type of roof, if it's just sort of your metal painted area, it would stick well and you could put two more up on the roof to hold this because there's nothing that's there's nothing that's holding the middle of the uh, the tarp it's just being pulled down by the sides there's that little quick clip i call it a quick clip it's called a figure nine but i mean really it's super quick and it's a clip there you go look at that look at how much covered space you have <laughs> Okay, so what do you think, Percy? Is the tarp working for you? Okay, so if it's pouring rain and you want to get it set up, are the suction cups going to stick to it? Everything is dry right now. We don't know. That's okay. We're going to find out. Let's see if we can get these things to stick. There we go. Everything's wet, including the dog. <laughs> and what I've seen from using different kinds of suction cups like this Put it on a little bit further than where you want it. Drag it across. Put the suction cup, drag it across, and it's gonna force that water out. I can already feel, I, I can feel the tension on there already. So now, even though the water is pouring down through here, the suction cup mount is holding. It actually works, even when it's all wet. I like it. So let's wrap this one up. I mean, I'm actually surprised at how well these are holding. There's quite a bit of force on both of these. One of them that was put on the side where it was dry. We just threw some water on there. It holds. You really got to wipe it down as much as you can or put the suction cup a little bit further back and as you slide it along that water is going to drain out of the suction cup area and it's holding i'm quite impressed i'm going to try these next time i'm out somewhere and see how it holds up uh maybe if it's high winds or heavy rain to see how well they really work this is a pretty controlled area i'm in my yard so but i like it i'm gonna say for $50, you could have this full setup. 20 bucks for the clips, 10 bucks for a tarp, and about 10 to $15 for um, the Night Eyes Figure 9 quick clips that I used, and you're all set up. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. That's all there is to it. <laughs>